Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. In this video, we are going to show you how to modify XPath in Octopus. XPath stands for XML Path Language. It is a programming language that uses path like syntax to identify and navigate nodes in an XML document. With XPath, you can precisely locate any specific element from a web page. But this requires some coding knowledge. Notice, if you are new to XPath, you might need to grab some basics of HTML first. In this video, we won't go into detail to explain how to design XPath to pick out the desired element. XPath locates elements based on HTML tags and attributes. So before you get down to write your own XPath expression, you would need to inspect the HTML structure of the target page. Right-click on a specific element on the page. Select Inspect to view its HTML tag. If you hover over tags in the HTML view, the page will highlight the element that your cursor is hovering over. To get the XPath expression, right-click the HTML tag, select Copy XPath. In most cases, you don't need to deal with XPath, as Octopus's default way of selecting elements is enough. But in some situations, you might have to do some modification to help Octopus better locate the element from the web page. In Octopus, you only need to consider XPath modification when creating the following three task actions. Loop item, extract data, and switch dropdown. First, let's see some situations where you need XPath modification for a loop item. For a loop item, you may have to modify default XPath expression or write a new expression on your own when extracting data through multiple pages without next button. The next button can't be located precisely. Or extra or hidden data you don't need is being selected. Notice. We've made two individual videos for the first two situations. So in this video, we will only talk about the third situation. Here we take the clothing page from the Jabal website for example. We want to scrape the current price of each product from the page. We create a loop item in our usual way. Click Select All from Action Tips. Then select Extract Text of the selected elements. But once the loop item is created, we find there's no data extracted for the first loop item. Click Loop Item in the workflow. We can easily notice that the first loop item is different from the others. Go to Advanced Options. In the XPath box, we can view the default XPath expression detected by Octopus. Open the page in Chrome. Here we use XPath Helper, a very useful Chrome extension, to help us modify or write XPath expressions. Paste the XPath expression from Octopus into the query box. Press Enter. What in the results box shows that this XPath expression locates some extra elements. We need to offer to Octopus the right XPath expression, the one that locates only product items on the page. Inspect the HTML tag of the first product item. Then copy and paste this XPath expression into the XPath helper query box. Inspect the HTML structure of the page. 
By modifying the XPath expression of the first product item, we can get an expression that matches all items on the page. Paste the modified expression into the XPath box in Octopurse. Click OK. You can find that the first loop item is removed from the list. Next, let's see XPath modification in Extract Data. In this case, one of the most common situations where you need to rewrite XPath expressions is the data capture failure caused by irregular location. Still the Jabon clothing page. The discount products have two prices, a previous price, and a current price. While the others have only one. On this page, the element of current price is not always located at the same place. This is called irregular location. But, we can precisely locate the element with XPath. Click to inspect the HTML tag of the current price of one discount product. Then inspect that of a non-discount product. So, to locate the current price of both discount and non-discount products, the XPath expression should be like this. Use XPath Helper to check whether the expression that we've just written is right. Let's see. It does work as we expect. Then we can use it in Octopus. Select the data field that needs to be modified. Click Customize Data Field. Select Customize XPath. Enter the new expression in matching XPath text box. Now, Octopus could precisely extract the current price of each product from the Jabong clothing page. There will be no extra element being selected, or any capture failure from irregular location. Finally, Let's see XPath modification in Switch dropdown. In Octopus, when a drop-down menu is detected, all available options will be selected by default. If you want to modify the list by adding or removing items, it can always be done via using XPath function position to specify which options are to be kept in the list. Click Loop Item in the Workflow. Find the XPath text box under Advanced Options. Modify the expression. Click OK to save your changes. Here are several XPath expressions we use most in Octopus, for your reference. And Octopus offers XPath tool, to help XPath generation. You can find XPath tool in tools box from the navigation menu. Or, by clicking try XPath tool, when customizing XPath. You can use Octopus XPath tool to generate an XPath expression by setting up the appropriate criteria. Now, you've learned when and where to modify the XPath expression generated in Octopus. Thank you for watching.